Kentucky cuisine. How about that? Well, it came about from a purpose. This is actually Rudy Green, who was a Aww. stray uh, chocolate, chocolate lab, lab, showed up at my house when he was two and decided he was going to live with me. Okay. Fourteen years later, Rudy Green develops a bleeding ulcer and was this close to dying that said, take him home and cook for him, maybe he'll live. Well, sure enough, ten days of cooking for this dog and he was all better. Wow. The other three that I have got just a portion on top of their dry food and dinner time turned into this fabulous event. I began doing research on it and um, found that there wasn't anything like this that you could buy anywhere. So I started the company in fall of 2006 making just bland human stews, people food for dogs. They're frozen, all natural, microwave safe, and resealable containers. Wow. So it's, it's a product that is ideal for a sick dog okay. um, or for a finicky eater. But if you have a normal healthy animal, like Dr. Dr. Garvey will tell you, it's great to introduce a variety of real foods into their diet. Well, Carla, I mean, I looked at one of the recipes this morning, and I'm thinking, I could go home and eat this tonight. <laughs> you can. <I> mean, <laughs> so if I want to cook for my dog, because I, I can imagine dinner time would become a fabulous experience if Jezebel and I were eating the very <laughs> same thing the whole time. <laughs> so you, you just need a few simple tools that you probably already have in exactly. your kitchen. Exactly. A crock pot, a rice cooker, or just a pan with a lid. Okay. Um, spoons, uh, scrapers, you need measuring cup or a scale. Okay. A thermometer is a great thing to have to check the temperature. Things that will sa help save you money in this process is by baking large batches at a time okay. and freezing portions. Um, in it. So if you have some kind of freezer containers or just baggies that you can, can divvy it out in, um, then that's a, a great way to incorporate some savings into it. And it really isn't an expensive process to do, especially because you can buy meats, you can buy whatever's on sale and cook in a large amount. Right. And uh, you must have talked to Tammy because Tammy knows that Jezebel loves sweet potatoes and green beans. Exactly. And so this is so you're <laughs> going to cook me up a casserole here in just a little bit. But for people who are not interested in doing their own cooking for their dog, right. they can go to selected Kroger stores, yes, Value, Value Market, Market, and Whole Food stores, and pick or to RudyGreens.com. Rudy okay. And yes, and they can buy this and just mix a little with with ordinary dry food. Just introduce it slowly, um, and you put the lid on, put it in the fridge, keep it up for three or four days. Okay. 817-0907 is Carla's number. And we're going to go ahead and take a real quick break, talk to Dr. Garvey a little bit more. And when we come back, we're actually going to use these ingredients and cook up a recipe for your pet. And more massage, too. Lots of stuff going on today. 571-5263 is our telephone number. We'll be right back. Um, are you with me? Hello? Hi, Marianne. Hi, Cindy. I just wanted to say thank you to Ms. Haas because she has done such a fabulous job. Um, our dogs have been eating Rudy, the Rudy Green since pretty much we got on the market, and they're addicted, what can I say? And you will love it, too. Oh. Um, <laughs> when I don't feel like cooking, I'll get some out for my dear sainted husband. Oh, that is so <laughs> funny. I'm thinking a little bit of hot sauce, salt and pepper, <laughs> you know. Yeah, you can run with it. <laughs> Hey, Marianne, thank you so thank much you. for the call. We appreciate thank it. How about that affirmation? I told you you can eat it. Okay, so um, this recipe uh, that, you're gonna, that you've made up for us today that for the magic of television, chicken. Ch it's a chicken, barley, and vegetable recipe. And right, you see right here is all that's in it. Um, a quarter cup of olive oil is what you're going to do. Okay. Saute this in the bottom or heat it in the bottom of your crock pot. Okay. And add what we used is two and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast okay. that are diced up. Um, cook the chicken in the olive oil. Add three quarts of water, bring that to a boil, and add one pound of barley. Okay. Cover it and let it cook for about 30 minutes, simmered for about 30 minutes. And once the barley just becomes tender, you want to add fresh sweet potatoes, which I've quartered, kind of diced, and I used frozen green beans. Okay. Throw those in, cover it, and cook it for another 15, 20 minutes until it's done. And voila, you have a fabulous meal that your dog will love. And the wonderful thing about cooking for them, um, aside from the fact that they just absolutely go crazy, uh, <laughs> and yes, the, re the reaction is totally worth the effort, uh, is that the nutrition that is available in real food um, doesn't, isn't necessarily easy to come by in kibble or canned food because of the process that canned and dry food are cooked at, some of those nutrients are missing. So okay. incorporating fresh uh, meat, 
vegetables and grains back into their diet is very, very healthy for them. And just like you and I, variety is really important. I mean, right. no matter if we ate the most healthful foods, if we ate the same thing every single day, we'd be missing something. So you want to mix that up. But like Dr. Garvey said too, you want to you want to get them on a on a good, high quality dry food, but then mix things in with it. Well, so, and just to your point, you know, I'm reading the ingredients list. It's chicken breast, water, sweet potatoes, brown rice, zucchini, olive oil, cornstarch, bay leaf. I mean, these are things that, I, I mean, and there's there's no chemicals. No, there's no byproducts, nothing you can't pronounce. Nothing you can't no. pronounce. It's just real food. Real food. Just and there's some, when you're, when you're going to cook this at home, there's some really simple guidelines um, that you want to kind of go by. Make recipes up to your dog's liking. One is that you want to use more meat than vegetables and more vegetables than grains, uh, and okay. that that guideline should basically cover the um, the balance of the nutrients. Make sure you always cook um, your meals to at least 180 degrees. Okay, and then when you cool it before you freeze it, you want to bring it down to 50 degrees in four hours. So that's why, again, dividing it up in smaller portions, just so you don't put the lid on, stick it in the freezer, and then you have bacteria gotcha. growing gotcha. in it. Okay, so one more thing, let's talk about things that you should not put in your recipes okay. if you're cooking for your dog. There are several things that are um, that we eat that are bad for dogs, besides Big Macs and nachos and potato <laughs> salad. Oh, rats. Yes, yes. <laughs> and that's why a lot of people think people food's bad for them when, when we just hear the table scraps are bad for them. Well, table scraps a lot of times aren't good for us, right. much less for your dogs. But things that you need to be um, wary of, obviously chocolate, most people know that. Okay. Um, onions are bad for dogs. Okay. They can cause anemia and damage red blood cells. <laughs> um, nightshade vegetables like eggplants are bad for dogs. Soy products, okay. Okay. grapes, raisins, and citrus. Okay. are the things that I do know off the top of my head. But there's, you know, in this day and age, there's so much valuable information available on the Internet that if, that you, if you can kind of sift through it, gotcha. um, weed out the good from the bad, and, and look, um, look up websites like USDA. Um, and the National Academies Press. They have, there's great information on there. All righty. All right. Well, Carla, thank you so much. Thank we really you do for appreciate having it. Me. It's Rudy Green's Doggy Cuisine. We're going to take a real quick break. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Buddy, we're going to try Rudy Green's Doggy Cuisine with Timmy over here since he was such a good boy today. How about that, Timmy? Timmy liked it. Oh, oh I yeah. Hope so. <laughs> Man, he's, a, he's having a great day today. Yeah. <laughs> Give me some more of that chicken. <laughs> Dr. Garvey, thank you so much for being here Thanks today. Thanks for having it's me. Fun show. Show. <laughs> and Letha, thank you so much. We really thank do appreciate you. it. So Letha's um, website is creativepetprojects.com. Creative Rudy Greens. RudyGreens.com. Dot com. Easy enough. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow with Listen's Live. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thanks again. Thanks. Be happy. <laughs> Timmy is. <laughs> <laughs>